Let's get right to it. The academic takeover in data science and machine learning is on the way out. It's a death that was easy to see if you had any real-world experience. The Harvard Review called data science the sexiest job of the 21st century. Academics skilled in mathematical formulas were going to swoop in and build highly accurate machine learning models and take over modern data analytics. Sounds great. However, it's not what happened. What really happened cost companies billions of dollars. A flood of technically inept academics with advanced degrees found out that working with real-world data wasn't as easy as downloading nicely cleansed data sets from the internet. The same Harvard Review that boasted about academics taking over modern data analytics tried to point the blame on companies and not the technically inept academics. The problem was the data, not the skill of the super qualified data scientists. Companies have learned their lesson. Over the last five years, the trend towards hiring those with SQL and data-related experience has emerged. As a matter of fact, 90% of the roles listed right now for data scientists and machine learning engineers on job boards has SQL as one of the top, if not the top, requirement. In the real world, modeling has become the easy part. Most modeling is now democratized. That means I don't need to focus on modeling at all. I simply need to source and cleanse my data and then choose the right model. That's not hard either. The top model class for 80% of all machine learning are gradient boosters. Before the flood of unqualified academics filled data analytics, the only people doing data mining and business intelligence in the real world were data professionals. That trend is increasing again at warp speed. It won't be long before machine learning, which is nothing more than data mining with a predictive component, is returned to the realm of the data professional. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. We'll see you soon.